Ernie Banks is known as Mr. Cub, but his journey to baseball's Hall of Fame started right here. He was born in Dallas, graduated from Booker T. Washington. Moments ago, his alma mater honored the late baseball great. Sebastian Robertson was there. Okay, you got it? Okay, there you go. The beauty of bronze is that it can last for generations. That might be why artist Emmanuel Gillespie is nervous. I'm, I'm happy, but I just want to know what the community thinks. Gillespie graduated from Booker T. Washington. And so did the man he sculpted, baseball great Ernie Banks. It's a lot of pressure, but at the same time, it's, 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 uh, it's an honor. A player that broke barriers with that signature smile on his face. He was the first African-American player signed to the Cubs, went on to have a long career, and at 82 years old, was even presented with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. And I think that it is important for people to know that how somebody can make a lot of history in a short period of time. Current students from Booker T, now an art school, worked with Gillespie to sculpt Banks's likeness from clay. When we look at the statue, you will see he's in a, a relaxed uh, pose, uh, so it's easy for you to uh, approach him. But at the same time, he's in a, 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 a classical pose, in a heroic pose uh, that it's basically, you know, letting people know uh, they're invited to come and look at it as well. A pose that will now live forever outside his high school. Banks died in 2015 at 83 years old. His legacy was made in Chicago, and now his famous smile brightens Dallas. In Dallas, Sebastian Robertson, Channel 8 News. A true.